We mentioned Sears, the iconic retailer. Sources now telling CNBC they are due to announce liquidation plans later this morning. Chairman Eddie Lampert's $4.4 billion bid to save the company was rejected by Sears advisors who deemed the offer uh, insufficient. All the metrics being pulled out today, no profits in seven years, yeah. uh, more than 50,000 employees, 46 quarters of declining comps. It's 11 years of just quarter after quarter after quarter of declining uh, comps. Uh, uh, and we pointed out many of those quarters, certainly early on in particular when it had so many champions, uh, whether it had been uh, the Tisch's, uh, Berkowitz who was in there with the Fairhome Fund when he was lauded for some time, and of course Mr. Lampert himself seen as such a strong investor for so long, but not a surprise. And Jim, I can argue, you know, in speaking of uh, plenty of these people around this company now for the last six months or so. No, I've done actual reporting in, on air. Nobody's surprised by this end uh, here uh, in terms of potential liquidation. You know, what is the reason that a Sears slash Kmart needs to exist? It's very much unclear in this current environment. Uh, and they clearly believe they can return more value perhaps by liquidating as opposed to just continuing down a path that, as Carl said, has seen nothing but, uh, but negatives. Well, remember, it was a real estate play. They managed to fool the old Home Depot uh, uh, management into being able to buy some of the properties. I never thought that Eddie went into it as an actual store. A lot of the people, I think, who own big positions never went into a Sears and couldn't have gone into a Kmart. Kmart's been liquidating for years, at least when you go in there. Uh, it was so terrible. I, I bought some tires at Sears about seven years ago. Um, and I bought a grill, and it was really scary to be the only person in a store. I, you know, I thought it should be a bowling alley, but bowling alleys, I think, are yeah. you know, kind of a secondary way to play retail. It was incredible. Any single rich person who owned that company simply didn't believe that comp stores matter. Comp stores matter more than anything else. We know that from the days of W.T. Grant. And I've got to tell you, the problem with Sears, it was terrible. I don't know. I mean, it's not like they didn't have the tools. I mean, for decades, the catalog right. is a path to direct to consumer in and of itself. The you got first, Kenmore, right. Craftsman, right? Remember these they, brands, they, they Jim, that great uh, brands. other you, competitors You could return a hammer for. after two years. It was fantastic. I bought a chipper shredder at Sears. You know, it was kind of like Fargo. But I, that was during my hedge fund days, and it was only, you know, thinking that some of the people underperformed. But I, 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 I just, Steve Buscemi didn't work. No, no, that was, thankfully, you didn't use it in the offices. I don't recall that at the time. I know you threw no, a lot of No, but it was a great threat, David. Whatever else was David, it was yeah, a great threat to people who picked bad stocks. Right. It no, just I'm, was, I'm it, sure was it was a way to demonstrate what I um, thought should happen. Speaking of picking bad stocks, I mean, there was a time 14, 15 years ago when Mr. Lampert was, uh, was seen as the next Buffett. Uh, he had had a very successful career as a hedge fund manager, and you can certainly look back and say, whoa. Why? Why did you do this? Why go down this road, making it your single? I mean, he had some other good investments, Jim. AutoZone, I can think of a few others along the way AutoZone. Here. Uh, yeah, but... But, but give but, him know, credit. The stock, went, the, the stock went up big because it was a great real estate play, and then real estate collapsed. That's what it was. I do not think that... I don't know how much time Eddie spent while wandering the, uh, the stores. I think that lands well, in was good. David, had you and I done who, shopping? Yeah. No, I know, I know, but he it viewed himself as somebody the who could turn of the it universe. around. <laughs> turn uh, it around. See, you had to go to the store to turn it around. Do you think Eddie uh, well, ever got caught dead in the Sears? No, there was not. He did not believe investment necessarily in the stores was the way to effectively uh, maximize profits.